Uh, well, I thought that would go off a little bit more smoothly than that, but what's up, y'all? Big boy, variety here with the bald head and everything. <laughs> uh, so today, we're just going to evaluate the uh, draft class that the Cowboys had. I'm not really going to go into detail about the first round or anything like that. This is just purely about my boys. And um, before you ask anything about Tavon Austin or anything like that, all that boy has is speed. That's pretty much all he's going to contribute. I mean, he can he can do some other stuff, but all it is is just speed, to be honest. So um, let me let me look at the picks that we got. All I really cared about was uh, the first round, honestly. Whoever else we picked up was also pretty good. I mean, but um, firstly we have Leighton Vanderesk. Or however you say his name. I don't know how you say his last name. From Boise State, an inside linebacker. He's a pretty good linebacker. He's got some talent to him. Um, so we need linebacker depth really bad. Because um, Sean Lee's always injured. And um, I forget the other guy's name. Who's always injured as well. Well, I mean, he was kind of a rookie. I think it was like Jalen Smith or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at all. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we got him. We checked out on linebackers, so we're good on linebackers for right now. I think, cause we, I think we got another guy later on in the draft. Yes, yes, we did. Chris Covington from Indiana. We got that guy in the sixth round. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we, we needed that. Yeah. I don't know who Chris Covington is, so that's how, that's how you know he's pretty far down the list. So I mean, I don't I don't know who that guy is. So maybe maybe he'll help us out a little bit on the um, in that front seven up in there. Um, second round pick. I'm actually mad about this one a little bit because you know. Um, it, it just wasn't that good for um, my Longhorns last year. And so the pick that we got, Connor Williams, the guard, in the second round, um, I mean, I guess he can work with that, but he just needs to um, help with pass block a little bit more. That, that's what I'd really focus on because, I mean, um, I'm not sure how long he played because, you know, Texas was just it's just so weird last year and, and the, a couple years before that, so I don't know how long that guy's been playing um, as a starter in Texas or anything like that, but he's pre he was probably rotating in and around. I don't want to go back and look at stuff because, you know, it, it's just too late in the game. He's already drafted. He's already on our team, so we got a nice pickup. Next guy we got is Michael Gallup from Colorado State. I don't know anything about this guy, but um, all I know is that he's going to add on to receiver depth that uh, we needed, I'd say. Um, apparently, either him or Cedric Wilson from Boise State, who we also picked up. Apparently, one of them had like a big season or something at their respective schools and had like a thousand yards, fifteen hundred yards and something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to question it at all because, you know, I just don't really know a lot about these guys. Uh, about these two guys in particular, these wide receivers that we picked up. We picked up three in the last couple of days. Obviously talking about Tavon Austin as well. But um <clears throat> But, um, yeah, we, we, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right at receiver now that Des is gone. And, yeah, we're not even going to talk about Des at this point because, you know, it's just, it's just gone. So hopefully we can do something with the receiver. Maybe that will help Dak out a little bit. Who knows? Probably not. Um, the next guy who picked up in the fourth round was Durant 
Armstrong, an edge rusher from Kansas. Now, um, I can't really say too much about this guy because Kansas is so bad. Like, they'll forever, like, they'll forever be bad. It, it's not 2007, guys. Calm down. Just calm down, Kansas fans. Calm down. Stick the basketball. Stick the basketball. <laughs> now, if he does well, because we need some, we need something on that defensive line. Marinelli's um, little Tampa 2 scheme is just not getting enough pressure on these quarterbacks out here. So, you know, if he's a good fit. He's a good fit. Next guy we picked up also in the fourth round was um, Dalton Schultz from Stanford. Mm. Now, this is pretty interesting because Jason Witten's apparently going to Monday Night Football because he's retiring, which is a shame, honestly. That guy, Jason Witten. He's obviously going into the Hall of Fame if he retires, like right now. He's gone. So, picked up pretty much a run-blocking tight end. Um, apparently, the only tight ends on our roster that have ever caught anything was a guy named Swain, I want to say. Jeff Swain, either Jeff Swain or somebody else. I think his name was like Gavin or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, we need another tight end for our big boy sets. Um, yeah, this is this is a nice pickup right here. Um, fifth round, we drafted a quarterback from Western Kentucky who I have no idea about, named Mike White. Um, well, there was a quarterback from Western Kentucky a couple years ago, I think, that was also really good. I don't know if he went anywhere on scouts or anything like that, but... Uh, yeah, he, considering that he came from Western Kentucky, he's got something going on over there. You already went over um, Chris Covington and Cedric Wilson. He had three picks in the sixth round. We didn't have a fifth round pick. We had uh, a first round, second round, third round, two fourth rounds, no fifth round, three sixth rounds. The last guy, Bo Scarborough from Alabama. Alabama, another good running back. Now, as long as this guy stays healthy, because he was injured a little bit during his run, and he never had a thousand yards at Bama. Um, but he's a good runner. He's a good runner. He's kind of like that Derrick Henry type mold, where you know, it, like he's big, but he's fast, um, and I really like him. Um, I'm not sure where he's going to be on the depth chart or anything. I don't know if we still have Alfred Morris or not. But apparently um, one of those um, one of those Smith guys, Keith or whatever whatever the other guy's name was, he's they're gone. So, Paul Scarborough's a nice pickup. Draft, ca draft class was pretty good, pretty good. Um, I would have wanted to get another corner, though, because, you know, I mean... We, we just, our, our corners are just pretty young, and, you know, I mean, another year under their belt will be good for them, but we need another one, I, I'd say. Now, um, now, linebacker we took care of, and the whole thing with the tight end situation we took care of, and the whole thing with the wide receivers, we got three of them over the past couple of days. We had two more. Because you know, apparently um, Beasley's contract and T. Will's contract is running out. So I don't know about Bryce Butler or anything like that. But um, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is going to be this is gonna be interesting. Schedule came out like two weeks ago. So it's also going to be interesting. The way, see what we can do this season. We got a long way to go. Before um, the season starts, it's gonna be a rough ride, but we can make it. <sighs> mm. I don't have anything else, so I'm just gonna let this video go. Big boy is out, and um, go Cowboys!